Hey you guys, welcome. I'm Rena Wells and I'm here to do the Twin Flame Energy Check-In for this week. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. Take a look at all the new Zodiac readings that I'm going to be doing every month as well. And um, yeah, let's get to it. I wanted to start this reading with a little bit of explanation about Twin Flames, if you're on the Twin Flame journey. I wanted to talk about, you know, I know a lot of people, there's a toxic side to this whole romanticism of Twin Flames. Um, and I'm really, I am a true genuine twin and it's about mission work. This is not about romanticizing anything. This is about brunt healing work, right? You can't come into your twin flame connection until you have really purged the old energies that have kept you, uh, complacent in your life, especially in regards to uh, codependency, addictions, family lineage, culture, traditions, colonialism, system, systemic uh, dogmas, and all of these different things that we are conditioned in. You have to break all of that. And I know I wanted to give an explanation today before the reading about you know, how twins, uh, the oxymoron, you know, it's like parables, like very much what Christ talks about, you know, uh, that we can't seem to understand. It's like, uh, you know, if a tree falls in the forest, and no one's there who hears it, you know, those things that kind of break the mind. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that before we started the reading, in regards to the wholeness of twins and how people say we're the other half, but I'm a whole soul, how can you be half of something and still whole? So I'm going to just describe that to you here. Um, and it also has to do with the yin yang. So let's talk about those energies and then we'll get into the reading. So here are, uh, the, here's the masculine energy. Okay. It's just a straight line. Masculine energy is direct. Okay. It's like a lightning bolt. It's flashy. It's exciting. It's, uh, it, it shines, um, it shows the direction, it shines a light on what needs, uh, on the pathway of how to move forward. It's very 3D based. It's very, um, you know, you can't see, uh, what's being created until the light, until the masculine energy comes in and takes the potential of the feminine. It's giving, um, creator force energy, which is the father, right, is giving, Okay, it's uh, disciplinarian. Dis, dis how can I spell discipline? <laughs> discipline. Oh my god, <laughs> you can tell I've written it a long time. So it's disciplinarian, and it it it's uh, it needs a very deep, authentic knowing in how to move because this direction goes in both ways, back and forth, and linear can also be left and right okay but mostly we're going to just look at the direction is the straight line as straight as i can make it now feminine energy is whole right she is the womb she is the mother she is the you know this is yang energy over here this is yin right this is receptive okay she is open nurturing kind but when i say kind it's not at the you know uh, uh she's not a doormat right she she has a very strong kali spirit as well because she, she can see truth you know uh she can be manipulated at times because she's so giving she has so much to give here and this is pure potential okay creative force energy the father energy comes into the womb to create very much like when the sperm and the egg, right? Sperm swimming with the egg. It's a form of creation. And so she holds, nurtures, and births always. She's always birthing the new vibration. She's always uh, nurturing something new in her womb to allow masculine to come and like put that shine that light and say this is the next piece that we need to create now as the twins are here here's your masculine here's the feminine right here's the dm and here's the df and we become whole in these energies separate in separation okay so this is separation right so this is separation and so this you know we become whole when union starts to come 
together, okay? The wholeness comes together and it creates the feminine with the masculine, okay? They merge into a completeness. And so however this masculine moves in the feminine can move in different ways straight, but it's a direct line within the feminine, okay? The emergence of this is the union energy. This is the yin and yang, right? This is where the two can now become one full soul and learn how to work with these potent energies that they gained in wholeness while they were in separation. So I hope that explains that for you guys. This is the yin yang as well, right? Um, that you have a little piece of the other and the other. And so you see, you're not a half a soul <laughs> in a sense. You become whole in those energies first. And then you come together to merge and amalgamate and learn how the masculine can move within the womb of the feminine for the utmost potential of energy to create in the 3D world. Feminine, divine feminine is in the higher realms, 5D and up. Divine masculine is in the 3D and lower. They meet in the earth plane to bring this together. All right, guys, I wanted to share that with you. Let's get started with the reading. Would love to hear what you think of that. Let's take a look at what's going on with the twins right now. This is twin flame, soulmate, and connections, high level connections in separation. This is for this week. It is a timeless reading whenever you tap into this, but I am doing this in March. Second. So let's take a look. What is going on with the separation energies between masculine and feminine? Let's see what's going on with the masculine towards the feminine right now. There's some doubt happening. I'm not ready for these cards, deadly sins, and illumination of their doubt and their deadly sins, but we're going to keep going. What is going on with masculine energy towards the feminine? Okay, let's cut it. So if you are new, guys, hit the like and subscribe. And uh, if you want to work with me, all my info is down below. Here, okay, what's going on with the masculine mind, heart, actions, outcome towards the feminine? Ooh, all right. So someone is spying on your social. Well, we already know this. Twins just creep each other all the time. <laughs> Let's just be honest. Uh, what is going on here? Abundance. Okay, and what's going on with the feminine towards the masculine spirit? So this masculine doesn't look quite ready. The distance is killing this masculine here. His action towards the feminine is like, I'm not quite ready yet. He's still spying and keeping an eye on her. And uh, the abundance is here. Divine Feminine, you got some flyers too, day and night. And you're not feeling, you're feeling a little dead inside, Divine Feminine, okay? You're trying to find your balance between your own yin-yang energies within you. That's balancing your masculine, Divine Feminine, on the inside. Divine Masculine looks like he's probably uh, trying to balance the feminine on the inside. What is going on for feminine energies towards the masculine right now? What's going on with feminine? Thank you. Energies towards the masculine. Some of you may be caught between two lovers. Or it could be that your person has another lover. Um, whatever the case is, is a third party situation. I know, I know, I know. But it is what it is. You got to deal with the energies that come out. So here's what's happening. This feminine really looks... Where they're mirroring right now is like she's questioning her spiritual beliefs right now because the masculine right here is kind of like, I'm not ready for what you have to offer. And so she's trying to balance some spiritual stuff right now. They both know that there's abundance in life partnership here. What I'm feeling with this card is I'm not feeling so much that this is feminine. The feminine may have been put in a third party situation. Could be that you have somebody else too. So whoever has the other partner, you both could have partners, you both, whatever the case may be. But it's kind of, um, what I'm getting here is that we're going to have to clarify. Give me another one on that. The torn between two lovers for the feminine. <laughs> yeah, it may be the feminine has been, you know, deciding to date somebody else and going within and realizing that she loves this masculine though, however, you know. So that's kind of what I'm getting. Let's see why the masculine's not ready for what the feminine has to offer. Clarify this one. 
It's an eternal love. He, it's a scary love for him. It's a scary love for him. He's not entirely sure exactly why um, <laughs> this is happening. Um, he doesn't feel ready, but then I feel like this mask is just always in his head, so that could be the case. Let's go a little deeper, guys. Let's see what needs to be healed here. Let's go on with masculine towards the feminine here, Spirit, then we're going to clarify. Let's go on with the masculine energy towards the feminine here. Let's go on with masculine towards the feminine. Thank you. So the distance between us is killing me. Why is that? Why is that? divine masculine he's complacent he's not making a decision so he's just sitting in his in his loss right now he may have gone through a lot um so he's in a complacent place he's spying on divine feminine in his heart he keeps looking at her social media what are you looking at her why are you looking at the divine feminine mister what's going on he's growing he's growing and working really hard he's seeing where she's leveling up here in her life He's feeling the energy shift. He's feeling that he needs to work on himself a little bit more, probably because of that complacency that, that's coming out here. Um, let's see what's going on in his actions here. He He's not ready for this eternal love. You know, I think he's still doing some inner work here. Look at this. We have the soulmate. He knows that you're the person, all right? Divine Masculine knows. Give, a, give us another. Why is he not ready, spirit? Why is he not ready? He's dealing with some facade. He's dealing with karmic energy. So karmic is really showing up strong today. We're going to go a little bit deeper into the karmic energy. So let's take a look at this abundance for masculine towards the feminine right now. Yeah, he's despondent. So he's not putting too much into this right now. He's very complacent in the pain of everything because he's still dealing with a lot of facade stuff. He's trying to really work and grow. He's seeing the divine feminine really um, level up here, really um, shifting and changing. And he's feeling something happening deep within is what I'm getting, which is getting him to question in his action space, you know, this soulmate connection and the facade. It's 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 really hard, you guys here. Um because the physical stimulus, if you didn't listen to the channel teachings from yesterday, I go in and talk about the different connections. Um, because Twin Flame Union, if you're in a Twin Flame journey, it, it there is no physical stimulus stuff anymore. Everything is derived from the inside out. You are romanced once you have come into this connection within. God doesn't give you the Zaza Zing and the sexual chemistry and the attraction and the romance until you've hit those layers it's like a you know you have to kind of go through that inner growth from the inside out for your true person if you're on a twin flame journey whereas all other soul connections you know you can build from the outside in. you can build with a physical stimulus and get with them but twins aren't built that way right so this is really a twin flame reading I'm going to say, um, soul, high soul connections can go through this as well too. They can make the switch from the inside out, but they have to kind of forgo a lot of this facade physical stimulus stuff. Let's take a look because that's all chemical, right? What your brain attaches to is a chemical response, dopamine and, um, all of, uh, all of those, um, a nice feel good chemicals that come from your brain we can get very addicted to it as well you can get it from working out you can get it, you know i used to be a workout fiend you know because of the chemical response the endorphins that you get from it and that's fine but you have to be completely aware before you become addicted to that cycle of the chemical responses that's what's going on here what divine masculine let's just go with divine feminine all right she's feeling the synchronicities here um she is feeling the synchronicities. I feel she's getting signs, but she's not. Yeah, she she's being pushed to create more. That's three, three. That's also Christ consciousness, Buddha consciousness, higher consciousness coming in to co-create. So she's being pulled to co-create a lot. She's um, and to get into that masculine energy. I'm seeing a flip here. Masculine maybe trying needing to come into feminine energy more. So the merge can actually happen and feminine needs to get into a little bit more masculine, more action oriented. Let's see what's going on with these two lovers here, Spirit, with the feminine energy. She's gained a lot of wisdom. She may have had another partner or somebody else, but realizing I feel, um, let's get another one. This inner journey, she keeps going within. She's recovering from other partners. That's what I'm getting. Um, 
and recovering maybe from being put if she hasn't had a partner in a third party situation and saying, I'm recovering, I've gained the wisdom, I want you. You are the person here. There's nobody else. Everybody, every time I get involved with somebody, it's like bull, right? Um, so there's something that's happening here in regards to this inner journey. Um, this beliefs or just, she feels that things might be off right now um, spiritually. What is this about? Yeah, she's a little confused of where her masculine's at spiritually. Like, is he actually on the path, the, the same path? Or uh, it's so funny because I I just watched Spider Man with my kids. Yeah, I mean, worse. I'm a huge Spider Man fan, just so you know. Um, I can't remember which which one it was. The second one, anyways. We were watching it, and you know, there was a point. This is when Gwen. It's Gwen, not Mary, not MJ in the movie where uh it was very sweet i kind of teared up where you know spider-man finally said you know he's like you are you think we're on separate paths but you are my path and you know i remember ayahuasca had said the same thing to me like he is the path and i'm like no <laughs> you know we have to go through these ego breaks and and the confusion here she's wondering if that has broken here she's feeling that with from the divine masculine see how this is mirroring because he's stuck between the true love and the facade, right? He doesn't feel quite ready, but she's like, are you really on understanding that this path is the twins together? Like there's, we may be running parallel and doing different things, but it's the one soul that's striving for union, right? Yeah, she's confused because of the rejection. She may have been rejected from an offer or rejected energetically or just not feeling him or whatever the case may be that she's still trying to stay strong in her own spiritual beliefs here. She knows they're like meant to be life partners here. So the masculine energy is not respondent to this energy of the abundance yet. She wants to be of service. So she knows that if she continues to be in service to spirit, then she will move forward in her path. Let's do some clarification, guys. What's going on? Um, actually, I want to pull the connection uh, love oracle to see the connection between the two what is the main connection between the divine masculine and the divine feminine the what is the energy that they're sharing in their connection with this week spirit what is the energy that they are sharing in their spirit this week spirit together and their one union together in the energy field creator force energy thank you i'm not taking that one i'm not ready I'm good. I want to cut. <laughs> what is going on here? I'm not taking that one either. What is going on, Spirit, and the connection between the twins? Thank you. All right, we'll take the next one that pops out. What is going on in the connection between masculine and feminine? They want to express their love together. So they want to share how they're feeling. What is masculine towards the feminine? He's healing in inner child stuff. All right, we'll put that over here. And what is it with feminine towards masculine right now in her heart space? You got quite a bit there, feminine. <laughs> What's going on with the feminine? One, please, spirit. Thank you. She's retreating. She's kind of pulling back. She may be going through a lot of her own... Um, she feels this rejection, confusion, because the masculine's going between this world. So she doesn't want to play in that. She knows that there's a third party or something's happening. She's recovering from this. So she's healing and coming into a place of deeper forgiveness. But yeah, let's clarify, guys. Let's clarify. Let's see what is going on between the twins. High soulmate connection. Soul connection spirit for the collective reading this week. Thank you. What is going on here for? Yeah, divine masculine towards the feminine. Let's take a look. So let's see. Why is he complacent right now, spirit? Why is he complacent towards the feminine, the distance? You know, he's healing inner child stuff. Maybe also children are involved in this situation. He's trying to come into alignment here with the past. He's complacent. He is a little closed off. He's hanging on. He's nostalgic about the past. The distance is killing him. Why is he nostalgic about the past? If he's hanging on here. Yeah, he wants to action this. So he's in a place of just being nostalgic, um, trying to get into a certain place of alignment here. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. Yeah. It's creating a lot of blockages for him. 
emotionally unavailability because of this alignment that he's trying to come into. And, and it has something to do with the karmic energies is what I'm feeling. Let's see what's going on with feminine. How is she marrying her? She's in creation. They want to express. They want to communicate with each other. Yeah, she's trying to create a foundation and um, a home life here. We have the Ten of Pentacles. She wants a commitment. And wow, wow. She's manifesting the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Look at that. She's in co-creation manifestation mode. She's like, I want it all. And when I created this card, this is like an illustration, like a drawing. So this is like, you know, it can, it's a forecast of foundation and money, but the true happiness here, it's all sparkles and everything is like, it's another castle, but it's a reality picture. It's like the 10 of cups is everything, you know, so she wants it all here. And she is looking at the synchronicities and co-creating this. It's helping the masculine get into this alignment here, but it's, it's, he's also blocked. She's going to win at all costs here. This feminine is like, I'm just going to do what I need to do. I deserve this. I'm in this energy. Why is he blocked? We're going to get a little deeper here eventually. He's not actioning anything. He's coming out of apathy slowly. Okay. So let's see this masculine spying. He's working on his growth. He's looking at the divine feminine. He feels it. He's putting an end to old ways. Okay, so he is in a place of transformation. Wow. Inner, deep interchange. We have the wizard, the magician, and the death card. Tower in reverse. So he is a little afraid of this change. Could be because of karmic energies. What is this fear of change with the karmic? He knows it's unrequited love, and he knows that with the karmic, it's not healing. The queen of swords, my karmic card. I'm sorry, guys. Queen of Ice, <laughs> sorry, but um, not all the time, but this is how I read for this type of reading. Um, yeah, it's unrequited and it's not healing. And so he's a little, he is afraid of this change. Divine Feminine is, you know, looking at other partners and trying to gain wisdom and, reco wisdom and recover out of anything. Um, it's, she's getting more defined in who she really wants and what she wants. She wants to move forward towards her wishes. She's ungrounded right now, so she's working on her stability. But she, I see this Divine Feminine manifesting what she's deserving of and saying, nah, I deserve real masculine energy in my life. Oops, sorry, guys. I deserve real masculine energy in my life. So let's see what's going on with the masculine because he's having some, uh, huh, what is the soulmate card and the facade spirit? This masculine is action. He's having a hard time. He's in a lot of pain, guys. Nine of swords with the three of swords. There's a lot of pain. He's going between eternal love between his true love, his twin, his divine feminine, his soulmate connection, and between a facade. What is the facade? Lots of pain, sleepless nights, anxiety, betrayals, third-party situations. Yeah, the facade is this home life, the four of wands that has been created. It's toxic. Look at this. I clarified the facade. It's a toxic union. It's a toxic... Uh, he's coming to the end of the finish line. The Four of Wands is also about finally coming to the end of a finish line. It's about, you know, two people say, I know it's a gateway 1111 and they're moving through a portal, but it's also coming to the end of something. We've made it to the wedding. We've made it to union. We've made it. We finished this part of the journey. We're moving into something new. So it is a gateway into something new. And so this is moving with this facade. He knows, Maslow knows that it's toxic. And what about the pain about his soulmate and the eternal love spirit towards the divine feminine? He's revealing the truth. Look at this, that he wants to invest in this. Wow. So he's taking action right now in his life to reveal the truth, which is a huge thing, you guys, being authentic, right? What is going on here with divine feminine? She feels the rejection and she's still confused. She feels the past. Uh, yeah, she wants truth. You know, she's gained a lot of clarity about her path and how to move forward. So there's new energies coming in for Divine Feminine is what I'm seeing. And getting her to get very honest, right? Do you want other connections or do you want a sacred union? But this is the hard part. It's like not attaching to a person, but a trusting in, and the best thing you can do is attach to God, right? Attach to spirit. So it's opening up your heart being vulnerable and open, but finally discerned and also knowing what you actually deserve here without the attachment. That's the healing piece that I help people with. So this is, um, it's getting closer to spirit. That's really what this is all about. So she's a little imbalanced here with this honesty coming out that she's feeling the confusion that this isn't quite ready yet, but she's dealing with it. 
I feel she's dealing with it. Yeah, she's getting on her path and she's discovering new things about herself and the truth about this connection too. I feel like she's getting some downloads about the truth of what actually her masculine's going through. If she's recently gone through something with somebody else, a friend, another relationship or somebody else, what I'm getting is she's realizing what this path really is and what may have happened with the masculine, how maybe he was seduced um, taken by this darkness and, and it feels so good, right? Because it attaches to all old patterns, you know, being manipulated into something. The truth is coming out here. And so Divine Feminine is discovering something as well. Um, it's getting her more focused, I'm seeing, of what she really desires. Let's see, she's retreated. She wants to be of service and let God bring her her true partner. So when she's in service, then, yeah, she knows that the masculine's looking at her. <laughs> she knows that he's trapped and watching her she just pulled back she's like yeah watch me all you want baby you can watch me watch me you know it's all for you anyway <laughs> so, yeah, look at Empress. she's pre-empress mode here she's like yeah i know i know don't think i don't know what's going on right she's building she's defensive she's building and she's holding her strength she's really coming into a really deep place within herself okay Let's see what's really going on with Divine Masculine energies, guys. Let's see what's really going on with him. What's going on with Masculine? Because he's really stuck in a place right now that is between um, two places. Let me just pause the camera so I can clean this up. And then we'll start the second part. Okay, guys. Welcome back. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with Divine Masculine energy towards Karmic energies. And towards the Divine Feminine, okay? We're going to do a comparison. We're going to take a look here. So if you guys are liking this reading and you're new, please hit the subscribe and the like button. And please follow for more. All right. And if you guys want to work with me. Um, oh, my goodness. <laughs> that was a lot that fell. Uh, I'll just take this chance to say if you want to work with me, take a look down below. I do. My coaching sessions are very different. I channel personalized coaching. I take a look at your connection. I give you actual tangible healing that you can do for your next steps, okay? To help you get into a closer relationship with spirit and your natural abilities and who you really are. Because uh, that's, that's the element of healing that needs to come into a place of really manifesting your desires, okay? It's not just a thought thing. I'm going to think this and it's going to happen. It's like, that's such a slow way of doing things. It's part of it, but it's not all of it. People have totally forgotten about mysticism. All right, let's take a look here at Divine Masculine. What's going on in his headspace? Heart space actions towards karmic energies and towards Divine Feminine. Let's take a look, guys. Okay, what is the masculine thinking currently about the karmic partner? What is the masculine energy? Want to get rid of that. Ending of frustrations. Okay, cleaning it up. Cleaning up the responsibility associated. Breaking, we got seven of wands on the bottom. Breaking down anything that they've built. Letting defenses go. And the frustration and the responsibility of this connection. How is Divine Masculine currently feeling towards Divine Feminine? Yeah, he's getting on us. Seven, seven. Hard energies, guys, but very spiritual energy. Seven is very spiritual. Um, they're in all texts of religious texts, seven, seven. It's a very spiritual number, God's number, but it's also a very, you know, the earth was created in seven days, all of those things, but it's also very difficult building energies, very difficult energy. So this masculine towards a feminine is getting very honest <coughs> and no longer, he can't wait anymore. He can't wait with not being honest anymore. What's going on with masculine towards karmic energies in the heart? Masculine towards the karmic in his heart. Ten. Wow. Ten, ten, guys. So something is definitely coming to an end with the karmic energies, the betrayal here. Let's see what's going on in his heart space towards divine feminine, divine masculine towards divine feminine. Is he fighting? No, he doesn't want to fight anymore. He wants to accept this adventure. He wants to accept the journey. Five of Wands is not just battling it out. It's also training and it's also getting ready to uh, move into the Six of Wands to be victorious, you know, to move through the darkness, uh, to become victorious and so and successful. And so this is like his training is done. You know, he's done training. He's done battling. He's done all of this. He's he's really. Yeah. Yeah. So what is his actions? Divine masculine actions towards karmic energies. What is he actioning right now with the karmic energies? Wow, guys, six of swords here. 
Let's do it this way because I get more room. Six of Swords. Truly, truly, truly. Let's go together. Six of Swords. What is his actions and intentions towards the Divine Feminine? And he's moving on to calmer waters. Wow. He wants the Ten of Cups. So look at this. He's not ready, but his sights are on Divine Feminine. Okay. He knows this is the end all of the end all, you know? And so this is why this is about divine timing because both, it's such a, it's so about spirit really allowing both people to be completely ready in their mind, heart, and spirit. We, you have to become so healed in so many aspects to come into this, but he's focused on this feminine. The outcome that the divine masculine wants with the karmic got two that came out oh wow he's seeing very clearly that he's moving on and he's going to communicate and the outcome with divine feminine wow he's awakened tower moment the outcome he's breaking it all down baby breaking it all down yeah as you should <laughs> you know you can't become emperor or an empress until you do the damn work you gotta break shit down you gotta break the 3d reality right let's get some overall messages here for divine masculine towards the karmic energies what's going on with divine masculine so let's dig a little deeper he's reflecting we're just going to take what comes out he's reflecting right now he's being guided okay into this but you know ending things even though he's uh, ready to rise up in his heart um he's an earth guide look at this freedom this is what he's moving on from freedom earth guide channel he's a clear channel yes you are darling yes you are divine masculine connected to the feminine energy moving through feminine energy for freedom and channel he's a clear channel for healing um completely a clear channel for healing he brings it down and he's owning that power now that's why he's moving on to calmer waters here and what is the outcome here with karmic energies that he sees very clearly that he's moving towards his dreams and he's communicating that wow excuse me that's what's going on towards feminine energy this is beautiful 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 we're not going to clarify this. this is coming out pretty clear let's see what's going on with masculine energy towards the divine feminine knowing that she's you know he can't wait anymore he's getting very honest he's gained a lot of wisdom and strength here about being honest about where he's investing where he's putting his his that line right that direction that masculine energy where his focus is is what he creates more of and so if it's from that lack place with karmic energies he will eventually create more lack not necessarily in the financial aspect or in his world but it's in emotional stuff because he's repressing feminine energy you see masculines they can build up all the world and all the money and all the structures that they want. But when it's not, when it's without the divine feminine, they will lack those emotional things in their life. Whereas feminine struggles more with those 3D things, you know, um, and they have all of this emotion, all this love to give, but it can't be, it's not directed you know so this is the balancing that needs to happen what's going on in her and masculine's heart space towards feminine that he's done fighting this he's done his training he's doing his work he's having patience he's observing everything he's watching the shit out of her listen he it, hi <laughs> that's all you have to do. watching watching this feminine knowing that he has to have patience and observe this he knows that she's the ten of cups damn right you don't get to work on shit and get you know have abundance like you know this kind of feminine energy without the work right guys yeah this is look at this the blue flame connect to the blue flame which is the light of pure love within you this masculine's doing that and realizing the blue flame is his twin flame is inside of him he wants to action that he's feeling feminine on the inside for sure He's breaking everything down as an outcome to be with Divine Feminine. Wow, guys, there's a release happening here. Whew, I can feel that. I can feel that. So this is really, really beautiful, really beautiful. Let's go deeper into, um, this is where Masculine is at right now. Um, let's take a look and see what exactly is going on towards Divine. I mean, no, let's see what's going on with him towards the Karmic. Let's see that. And then we'll see what's going on with the karmic energies. Um, I do have sessions today, so I need to keep track of 
the time to make sure that I don't go over. But let's take a look here. Let's see what is going on. Yeah, let's do that. Spirit. Let's see what's going on in their connection right now. What do you want me to do, Spirit? The connection or the... Okay, let's do karmic energies. We're going to do karmic energies. Let's grab my deck, my shaman deck for that one. Because it's just the karmic is so represented so perfectly in this deck. So we're going to do karmic energy, Spirit is saying. Let's see. What's going on with the karmic energy? Yeah, let's do that. Towards the divine masculine and the situation with the divine feminine and in her in the karmic's relationship. He or her. Sorry, guys. The majority is, you know, I'm don't mind my pronouns. 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 Can I speak when I channel? All right, let's see. What's going on with karmic energy? What is going on with the karmic energy in this twin flame dynamic for the collective spirit towards the masculine energy and the connection with the divine feminine? What is going on with karmic energies, please? What is going on? Four cards, please, with karmic energies towards the masculine. What's going on karmic in the mind? A commitment has ended. A marriage has ended, guys. Man, we've got all of these. So... We have the Hierophant in reverse. Six of Swords also moving on, okay? The middle of the reading is the Divine Masculine. In the near future is missed opportunities and fears of ending. So, yeah. Very focused on Divine Masculine here. There is a commitment, a high, the Hierophant in reverse, that has ended here. Yeah, the wheel is not turning. It's been a, just a slew of bad luck here for karmic energies, okay? This karmic is moving on to calmer waters. I think they're finally realizing their worth. Yeah, Nine of Cups. Okay, in reverse. Okay, look at how these are mirroring here a six and a nine, but the way that they're just looking, it's like they look like two sixes, you know, so it's like manifesting, you know. Um, so yeah, definitely moving on. Her folk, the karmic's energy is focused on divine masculine here. Let's see. Wow, focus on divine masculine and the divine. So this karmic is in complete knowledge of what's going on, completely understands that there's a connection here with the divine feminine and watching that she's at a distance and watching his moves, watching how he's going to ground this. What is going on with this missed opportunity? I feel like there may have been some forgiveness on this karmic side. Yeah, ending toxicity and being very sad about it. Uh, not wanting things to end. She's still trying to delay. Karmic energy trying to delay an ending here because things are hidden. She's trying to hide motives, hidden motives. I mean, this is how karmic energies deal in. They can act, they can act like they're sorry and they forgive, but it's it's like seriously, are you are you really? Like, I don't think so. There's hidden agenda here, not wanting something to end because things have failed. Using intuition of why the mask is not actioning anything and still trying to delay this ending. So it, this is what I'm saying. And you guys got to feel the energies out because listen to the last channel teaching because karmics mimic, can mimic divine feminine energies, but they're in a much darker place because they have been hiding from their darkness for eons and gaining power out of manipulation tactics, okay? Things that are hidden, and using their intuition for darkness, not for good, you know, not for channeling the divine and what God wants them to do, more of their own selfish reasons of what they want to create for themselves because of something of stability or because they have a belief system about something or they believe that something is toxic. You know, they're probably thinking this whole twin flame thing is very toxic, you know, obsessive, you know, yeah. So let's take a look here. We had the poverty card that came out. So as I'm saying that, it's a lack of mentality, right? It's like, yeah, let's see what's going on with karmic energies. Can I have one for each group here, Spirit? So what is the karmic towards the masculine right now? <sighs> Ending a commitment and marriage is something traditional because of fate. Message of concern, okay? What about moving on from... Uh, you know, the Nine of Cups. Things not going your way. Wishes fulfillment. Wealthy man moving on from a wealthy... Did I just say I just saw money? This is all about money, okay? So this is about Divine Masculine watching. Karmic is watching Divine Masculine with Divine Feminine Energies. Obsessed. If someone's looking at your social media, it's probably a Karmic Energy. Yeah, because there's a change here with the Masculine. 
you know, the masculine may not have actually actually actioned anything, but this this uh, karmic is intuitively knowing what's happening here. There's an ending here of uh, toxicity, missed opportunities, and feeling very sad. Look at that. Going on a journey now. And what is this delay and ending? I want to get more clarification here because there's a delay here because of failure and things are being hidden intuitively knowing why this masculine is not actioning anything. And what is that intuitive knowing? Oh, she, this karmic saying, I'm so concerned about this. What is this concern? Oh, I'm so concerned that you're obsessed. I'm so concerned. Just wait before you move forward. All this bullshit. Just wait. Just wait. There's a, doubts that are happening here. Yeah, because there's a high honor here. This will never come around again, this karmic situation. So... Yeah, there's a high honor of work that's being done here. But why is there a delay here in concern spirit? Yeah, let's pull the other cards. They want me to pull the other card. So let's take a look. Why is there a delay in concern? And what's being hidden on the karmic side here? From Divine Masculine. This intuition and the concern. Just wait before you move forward. They're very jealous. They know they can't hit this high honor. The amount of work that a Divine Feminine does... Sorry, it's not comparable. It's really not, you know. Let's take a look here. What is going on with karmic energies towards the divine mask? And what is this concern and expectation here, Spirit? They're saying take a look at the bottom first. Yeah, there's an ending here. Look at that. No second chances. Reminiscing about the past and moving on. Okay, a lot of clarity has come that this karmic energy is not enough. So they're a snake. Look at this. A snake. Okay, so what is their concern that they're saying to wait? Yeah, it's about their own self-indulgence, their own shadow work, not sh someone taking a risk here, not showing their full hand because they're heartbroken. So <clears throat> there's been an ending here. And because of this ending, there's a message of concern. Like, yeah. Yeah. You didn't show your true feelings. You wore a mask. You hid our abundance. They're trying every excuse to try and keep this masculine, okay? You're moving on and you're ending things for this twin flame. Look at this. Seduced away from the twin flame here, okay? This this karmic knows and is trying to still seduce as this masculine is leaving towards a twin flame connection. What is this change here, Spirit? The karmic is watching the change happen. Trying to talk about healthy choices to the masculine. And what is this karmic saying to the masculine? <laughs> What's this? You're addicted. Finding out the truth. Telling the masculine he's addicted. This is this is the bullshit. This is exactly what I was just saying. Saying that the feminine's toxic and everybody says that of course everybody says the feminine's toxic. Yeah. Look at this. Sad because things are ending because there's a journey of separation that's happening here of a missed opportunity and there's an ending of a separation and sadness of missing somebody, engagement and wanting to date. This karmic is fully aware that this masculine is moving towards the divine feminine and ain't having a good time with it at all. So let's take a look. What is this mask? I, I can't deal with it. Do you hear how angry I get? <laughs> I talk about when I talk about the karmic it's like seriously welcome to my whole life of betrayal like are you kidding me you have no idea bitch you have no idea I can't anyways let's move on yeah look at this karmic energy oh I'm so concerned about you this is about wearing a mask you wore a mask she's saying to the mask you wore a mask this entire time and kept the abundance and that's why it's unrequited this is just an obsession that you're having let your guard down with me. Let your guard down with me. That's what this this is what this is what the karmic is saying. So let's see how the masculine is responding cuz I think it's a bunch of bull to be honest. Um how is this masculine responding to the karmic energy in regards to this? Take a look. Cuz this karmic is definitely trying to still persuade and they will to the end. You know that. The karmic will because you know, it's such a highlight code for them. They've never felt that kind of energy. Of course not. Of course not. Everybody wants a twin flame, you know. Myself included. You know how many men want to date? I can't. 
I can't even anymore. They take advantage of me. I can't even because they can't meet me in a certain depth. When twins finally like do their healing, they come to a certain place of depth within themselves. I heard a beep, but I guess I guess that's just my phone. Sorry if my phone is going off. Um, let's take a look here and see how is the masculine responding to the karmic. You wore a mask. You hid the abundance from me. He's like, this is the burden. Look at this. This was the burden that he was facing. This He's not investing in it. He's not listening to it. He's like, this is the damn bullshit. I have heard for how long. You can't get rid of her. You can't. Get, no, you can't. You can't. <laughs> You'll be the pebble in the karmic shoe for the rest of your life. That's just how it is. So it's like, can't invest in this. It's too much. So this karmic energy is trying to seduce the masculine from moving on and away from her wishes fulfillment. There's a slow movement happening here. So this is why it's so slow. Uh, because there's a decision that's been made out of the other options here. A dream. What is this dream with the karmic energy trying to trying to seduce? <sighs> Because this mask is slowly moving on and trying to seduce. You can have a renewal here with me. You can have a renewal here. You're just confused. Yeah, this is what the karmic's saying to the masculine. Yeah, you're blocked. That's why you're blocked in your heart. That's why you can't. That's why you can't move on. You're blocked. Let your defenses down. I can't even with this energy. It's like, you know when karmic energy does this? It's like they're already doubting the power of a masculine, the divine masculine. Like, Do you even see that karmic energies? They are denying the power of God in the divine masculine. So keep doing that. It just it just pushes them even further. So what's the masculine's response for that? Not honoring the power of the masculine? Give me a friggin' break. The masculine is saying, I'm taking my cup. What is the masculine's response to this? He's not working on it. This contract is ended. The three of pentacles in reverse, okay? Yeah, he's pulled back his energy. He's saying, oh, wow, we have two. Oh, this is from my other deck, so I guess I wanted to come out again. I have another deck here, so that I must have mixed. Anyways, it's fine. This is um, offering and taking his cup to somewhere that he wants to invest. He's not investing here, but he's investing here and saying, this contract is done. I'm pulling back not really not really taking it from the karmic energy this karmic is sad about this journey okay oh sorry we're right here about making healthy choices in the addiction and trying to change um trying to change saying this is an addiction you're addicted to this feminine clarify this the karmic energies build with me work with me have a relationship with me trying to talk about healthy choice she's trying to offer a reunion and friendship i can help you i'm the one that can help you i'm the strong one i've been standing by your side stop fighting me i can't i want to like throw up like are you kidding me and how is the masculine's response to this so masculine standing very strong against karmic energies saying i have a dream i have a dream this confusion, I'm not fighting this anymore. This dream of this new path, discovering my dreams, discovering this new path that I've betrayed. What else for masculine? This has been stuck. Yeah, this has been stuck. He wants to be single and he's being very honest. What is this betrayal here, this Ten of Swords for the masculine towards the karmic? Yeah, he's like, I'm sorry. I'm abandoning this. Wow. This has failed. I'm closing off the past of my fear of change. So this mask has been working on shifting out of fear of change. Okay, so something is happening in regards to his own fears. Something is shifting inside. We saw that earlier. So there's definitely something that's happening here in regards to where things have failed and abandoning that and letting things go and being very honest that he needs to be single. And this karmic just keeps trying to infiltrate, you know, um, and, but he's not having it. Masculine is really not having it. This, this, uh, karmic energy is saying, you know, it's failed. I have a concern. I'm not enough. She's heartbroken. What is she saying to masculine about this? 
Um, but there's an ending. There's no second chance, but they're trying. It's a big burden for this karmic, being abandoned for path, this passionate new path. Okay, there's also a new path opening up for the karmic, but it's like sometimes they just, you know, they want what they want, right? Because that's the selfishness in them that they can't look at. Yeah, I've waited and invested. D -d -d don't you ever always hear that? You always hear that. I invested. I'm the one that put the work in. Yeah, bitch, because you pull and stole and seduced and manipulated the energy. Like, you want to know investment in energy is the divine feminine who's been working her whole damn life for this. Like, go away. Like, go away. Like, that's just, you know, and it may not be her whole life, but it's been eons, too. You guys, divine feminines who are in a twin like that, have been working for eons for this with a humble spirit without taking advantage of people, <laughs> without manipulating children and partners and friends and family. You know, this is the bullshit that the karmic goes through. But, you know, they deserve healing too if they want to do the work. How's masculine responding to this? This is what I can't even with the energy that comes out of me when I deal with this. It's like, yeah, whatever. Whew, things are being revealed. Look, breaking down a foundation, breaking down the four of wands. Masculine is like, I am revealing my truth to you. I don't want this home life. I don't want this. I don't know which way this one card fell, so we won't take it. What is this with masculine towards the karmic? Yeah, he's like, it's an injustice. It is a damn injustice. Two of swords in reverse. Seeing things very clear. This masculine is not budging. Not budging, not actioning anything, not budging with this queen came out sideways, which is the karmic partner for me in this deck. So look at this. Not knowing how to move forward here. Why is masculine still struggling? Still struggling with the karmic about how to move forward because he's breaking everything down. So he's not sure. Yeah, this is kind of sideways, the lover. So they're in between stages here of really shifting out of older energies. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, guys. I got to go do a reading. So I think that might be it. Uh, yeah, let's do some uh, healing messages for Divine Feminine in the meantime. Let's see what's going on for Divine Feminine and what Spirit has to say in regards to that. All right. Yeah, spirit. Okay, let's do that. Let's get some healing messages. And then, yeah, I'm not even going to use anything in this deck. I have to clear that for my session. But let's see. Uh, what are we going to do? Yeah, I want to do those. Let's get some healing messages for Divine Feminine. All right, that's what's happening this week, you guys. That's what's happening between karma. I mean, the masculine is not standing down. He is gaining momentum in his strength. Let's get some messages for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Excuse me, and Divine Feminine. Okay, some healing messages for Divine Feminine, please. Whew, what are some healing whew, messages for Divine Feminine, please? Wait till I cut the deck, please. All right. What are some healing messages for Divine Feminine, please? What healing messages do you have, Spirit, for Divine Feminines? We're going to do some mirrored messages, too. Co-create Divine Feminine. Get into your creative force. This is what I was feeling. It's time to move more in the masculine this week. Really uh, create, be strong, be in and balance that masculine energy on the inside. It's going to help your masculine. What messages do you have for healing messages for Divine Masculine? So the ma Divine Masculine wants to exchange gifts. Clarify that. Wants to give, which is the Divine, you know, masculine energy. But thinking about how to come forward. It's allowing them to come into a deeper place within their feminine. Divine Feminine, co-create. Give me another one. So as the Divine, yeah. Be happy in your co-creation. It's helping the, when you are in that masculine energy, you're connected to masculine, masculine's ever, able to get deeper into feminine and wanting to exchange something of equal value. We have four, four, which is, you know, foundation. We have a four here for divine feminine, another new foundation being built. We have a nine and an eight. So eight and nine progression. Okay. So there's a lot of progression that's happening here. Let's take a look at mirrored messages. This is my mirrored messages deck. We have uh, masculine and feminine energies. Let's see what messages the divine feminine what energy is the divine feminine mostly in 
she can be in divine masculine or divine feminine energies but we'll see what messages come up we're going to get one or two from divine feminine and divine masculine what energy is divine feminine in right now towards the masculine thank you thank you spirit oh my god i can't pick that up where's energy and messages divine feminine to the masculine place right now she's definitely a mask you see this is what i'm saying i was feeling she's one more spirit i've been feeling that she's mostly in divine masculine energy she definitely is in divine masculine energy okay and how about the divine masculine i bet you he's in feminine let's see what about divine masculine what energy is masculine energy in right now spirit what energy is masculine in right now thank you what energy is masculine in towards the divine feminine right now i feel he might be a masculine but he needs to get more into deeper feminine oh he's in feminine he's in look at this this is exactly what i was saying so they've swapped out they're balancing the energies this way this week okay so the advice here for feminine is to get really more into your masculine this is the message that you're in masculine energy divine feminine right now saying to the masculine I am doing everything in my power so we can align perfectly. I am trusting in divine timing. That's when we saw the 210. She's manifesting this union. And she's like, I won't have any, any other freaking way. I'm done. You are my person. You are who God created me with. You know, what God puts and makes us, you know, make, let no man put asunder, right? Whatever God puts together is what is meant. That's a real union. Not what humans put together. Not what sexual chemistry puts together. What God puts it. What the souls come together. That's That's true connection. We have here, I am healing my karma. Please trust that I'm doing the best I can with what tools I have. So this feminine has recently ended something or has been going through transition and seeing where karmic energies really are. Things may have been taken from her. She may have gone through recent betrayal again. But whatever it is, it's making her come into a strong place of co-creation and to own her happiness, okay? Let's see the messages from Divine Masculine. He's sitting in feminine energy. He's feeling... Both of you are feeling each other here, okay? We have here, I'm doing the best to let you go and to have and not to have expectations. All I can do is focus on my path and my happiness. So this masculine is completely surrendering and being receptive to God and to spirit and to path here, into the path. Letting feminine go, it's very important. The whole energy of letting go is letting go of the attachment. It's not like you're letting go of the love. It's letting go of the attachment to the exterior of how things are going. And this masculine is really learning to let go of that 3D space. Here we also have masculine I'm towards the feminine. He's in divine feminine energy. I know I opened up way too fast. <laughs> It always gets me into trouble. I wish I wasn't so soft and I'm regretting how I handled our situation. This masculine may have felt that it was just a very intense exchange very quickly. Um, and so it may he, he may be feeling that he may have scared her off right from the get go. But let's let's flip the messages and see what what's going on with that. And then this will be the reading. OK, so feminine energy, you're sitting in masculine. You're saying this to the masculine. I'm doing everything I can in my power so that we can align in divine timing. Your masculine is doing the same thing in feminine energy. I am doing my best to let you go and not have expectations. Right. So both of you are doing everything you can to align now feminine energy this is how your masculine will respond to you when you flip it the feminine this is how masculine will res is responding to this there isn't much i can do but trust in a higher power a day doesn't go by that i don't think of you so it's very similar to the energy that the masculine is currently in right that i'm doing the best to let you go and all i can do is focus on my path and my happiness when he's feeling this in Divine Feminine, this is what's going on inside of Masculine Energy now. He's feeling this. I need you to trust what I'm doing to heal. I'm doing what I'm doing to heal. I don't process and heal the same as you do. Okay, so this Masculine is really working on me. They're both doing this healing. So you see how the mirror is happening already? Beautiful. I love how these cards are working out. So let's take a look. Feminine is sitting in Masculine Energy. I'm healing my karma. I'm doing the best that I can. And Masculine's response to her is, 
I am sorry. I have pulled away, but I need to heal and move on from this vibration. It's not healthy for me. So this masculine knows that he's pulled away because whatever they have been doing in the energies, whatever has been happening in their connection, he can't do it anymore. And so this feminine has taken upon her. She's going and healing a lot of the last end karma in, the, in her life. Masculine is sitting in feminine energy. I know I opened up way too fast. It always gets me into trouble. I wish I wasn't so soft. I'm regretting how I handled the situa our situation. Feminine's response to the masculine. Lying to hide my feelings became such a normal psychological response. I didn't realize how much it hurt others until I hurt you. I am so very sorry. So this feminine is also realizing her shortcomings, maybe um, her own issues with betrayal and maybe things that she has done in the past, her quick, you know, actions, quick statements, uh, her defenses that were up, you know, was acting from this masculine energy as well. Okay, let's get one more of what spirit is saying, what's going on with the twins in their connection together. One more card spirit, and that will be in a, a healing message for the two. And uh, that will be the reading for this week, guys. Masculine is saying, I don't know where you begin and I end. And feminine's response when you truly saw me, I saw myself. You illuminated my innermost sacred spaces. Beautiful. All right, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. And I hope you enjoyed that. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.